amazing beings. Love. Love heals all. Love helps you forgive easier. Love allows you to be more confident in yourself. When you become loving, lovable, loved, when you know how loved you are, when you know how everything is working out exactly as it's supposed to, and you just need to be in that loving moment, no matter what's happening, no matter what's going on. It isn't always easy. There are some times where you just feel like you need to defend yourself or you want to know why somebody else would be like that. But that's not your yours to wonder. You don't have to explain to anybody who you are. If they don't if they don't understand, that's their problem, not yours. If they don't approve of you, that's not your problem. That's theirs. If they don't understand you, that's their problem. If they don't approve of you, that's their problem. You are so incredibly unique. And along the way, we've lost that. We lost that realization of how truly amazing we are. We lost the realization of how much love we have inside of, inside us. We are connected to the one true source. It doesn't matter if you call it God, the universe, or a um, higher source, or whatever it is that you want to call it. The one being that we are all connected to, that we all came from, we are all connected in that same way. And we lose sight of that when we come here. And then we all get our individual thought processes and we believe that this is the right way. And it is for us for the moment. This does not mean at any time that this cannot change because it does. It changes all the time, all the time. If you could just realize your own power inside you, that begins with love, love for self, love for others, love for everything, including whatever's going on in your life, no matter how positive or negative that may seem. If you could just realize that no matter what you're thinking or uh, it's about love. It's all about love. It comes back to love. We are love. That's where we came from. When we're born as babies, we're unconditional love. We love no matter what happens to us. No matter what that person does to us, we love them unconditionally. As we grow up, we learn that um, love has conditions. So then we start following, falling into that. We think our way is the right way. We're thinking that our thoughts are the right way, that there's only one way. And that one way, everybody has to fall into. And it's wrong. There is only one, and it's love. You can't be loving and telling somebody else how they should be. You can't be loving and telling somebody else what they should say. You can't be loving and telling someone else that this isn't working. 
to be loving, you're kind, you're at peace, you're in harmony with everything that's going on. That's what love is. Love is accepting everything. Love is being open to receiving everything. Love is um, passionate. It's purposeful. When you get into that loving state, it is so truly amazing. You don't look at the world around you of what isn't good. You look at the world around you of everything is teaching something. Everything is a gift for someone. Even the horrible stuff that's going on is creating an experience that somebody needed to experience, as horrible as that is, to know that they could come through it, to see their growth. I know for myself, that's where I have grown the most. Difficult situations. So amazing, this love. Once you get there, you won't want to let it go. It's like a, like a drug. You just want to be happy all the time. Unfortunately, the other side of it is really like a drug and anger and frustration and actually create the um, uh, feelings that a drug would, would create inside your body. And that's why we get so addicted to those feelings. But we don't need to. We don't need to stay there. We don't need to be there. We could just decide right now, here where we are, that love is the way. Because it truly is. And you are so worth it, my friends. Make it an amazing day.